Amanda Bean's Amazing Dream, a Mathematical Story, by Cindy Neuschwander, and pictures by Lisa Woodruff. I am Amanda Bean, and I love math. I know all about counting. I am very good at it. I can count by ones, twos, fives, and tens. I can add up anything. The kids at school call me Bean Counter. Hey, what are you counting, Bean Counter? They yell. Anything and everything, I yell back. I just like to know how many. I count every day, even when I'm on my way home from school. Now we are learning about multiplying. I understand many things about multiplying. I know that it is like adding lots of things quickly. This is good. I know about the multiplying sign, the X. It means that things can come in groups or rows or columns. This is also good. What, what I do not know are the multiplication facts. My teacher says it's important to learn these. I am not so sure. I think I can just keep counting. I tell my teacher this. He agrees, but he says counting is a longer way to find the answer. I think about this when I get home. I think about this as I eat a snack in our kitchen. I look at the tile countertop. The <laughs> countertop, I say, I must count these tiles. I notice there are 12 columns of tiles. There are 12 tiles in each column. It is a long time before I count all 144 of them. I am Amanda Bean, and I like to work quickly. Maybe multiplying would be faster. I walk into the library to check out a book. One bookcase has seven shelves and nine books on each shelf. I am a man's bean, and I count anything and everything. I start counting. I finally figure out that there are 63 books in the bookcase. I am happy to know this, but now the library is closing and it's too late for me to look for a book. Maybe I should learn to multiply. Maybe it would make counting faster. I am still thinking about this when I go to bed. I am very tired, but my mind will just not quit thinking about numbers. Once, when I could not sleep, my mother told me to count sheep. I stayed awake all night counting them. The next morning, I had 6,727 sheep in my head. I do not think counting sheep is for me. Tonight, I will think about riding my bike. This is simple. There are only two wheels, two pedals, one seat, and one of me. I will imagine a quiet ride in the country, I whisper to myself. I can see the rolling hills, the big trees, and the green grass. This is relaxing, I say as I begin to nod off. I am pedaling along a quiet back road. The sun is shining, a gentle breeze is brushing against my face. This is relaxing. Then I notice something. It looks like eight bicycles with sheep on them. How many wheels is that? I wonder. I start counting, but the sheep whiz by so fast I cannot count all the bicycle wheels. Wait! I yell, I have a band of bean, and I count anything and everything.
I decide to follow them. I have to know how many wheels have rolled by me. Then I wonder how many legs do those sheep have all together? Now, I really must catch up with those woolies on wheels. I really must know how many. I pump harder. I breathe harder. Up the hill they go. Up the hill I go. Around the bend they go. Around the bend I go. The sheep stop at a barn and get off their bikes. I get off my bike too. I do not stop until I count the wheels. I follow the sheep. They go into the barn. I go in too. They reach into their fleecy pockets and each sheep pulls out five balls of beautiful yarn. Oh no! I cry out. Now I must count the yarn too? I'm a man to bean, and I count anything and everything. First it has wheels, then it has legs, now it has balls of yarn. I cannot believe my eyes at what I see next. Seven grandmas come marching in with two knitting needles each. They take the yarn from the sheep and start knitting sweaters. This dream is getting too crazy. Now I must add the knitting needles to my list of things to count. And each sweater has two arms. Should I count them too? The grandma start wrapping all the sweaters around me. Stop! I tell them. How can I count all of the arms and the sweaters and all the knitting needles and all the balls of yarns and the sheep's legs and the bicycle wheels if I am all wrapped up? Multiply, bleat the sheep. Multiply, multiply, multiply. Multiply, chant the grandmas. Multiply, I ask. I am Amanda Bean, and I count anything and everything, I say. Multiplying is counting, say the grandmas. It is just a fast way of counting. Yeah, agree the sheep. I wake up and find my mother wrapping me in her arms. I had an amazing dream, I say. It was a noisy dream, my mother says. Today I will start to learn my multiplication facts, I announce. They are important to know if you want to find out how many, and you need to know fast. My mother agrees. I am Amanda Bean, and I still love knowing how many, but now I multiply anything and everything. And I never count sheep. The end.